evening, guys and ladies. What's happening? Coming to you live down at the Sublimation 101 headquarters in Branchburg, New Jersey. You saw the post today for our cool new product, our uh, flip sequence I was showing you in the beginning. No, no, Scotty, tonight I'm solo, guys. It's called me Han Solo. But uh, I hope you got a view of that product. David, what's happening, guys? Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, we're going live a lot lately, guys, because we're getting our new stuff in, and we're just trying to gear you guys up for the holiday the right way. So that's why we like doing it. Uh, good news for you guys that are paying attention tonight. We are going to start shipping on Saturday. Next Saturday, until Christmas, we will be shipping packages up until 11.30, call-in or online orders. So we hope that gets you all excited. Hello from Shillums. Hello, Shillums. What's happening? What's going on, guys? Looking good tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's appreciated, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, I'm just checking you all out and um, give you a view of the product. Oh, you noticed. Well, I figured with all the childish play going on on social media, why not wear a Cookie Monster shirt tonight? Might as well fit right in. Hey, Lenora, what's happening? Uh, I hope everybody's well and all is good, guys. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. And it'll be a great evening with us. Hey, Grace, what's up? Grace, you're crying. Is that in laughter? Cross the boss with the hot sauce. What's happening, buddy? And uh, so we're going to proceed on. And as we're going along, guys, I'm going to be doing it. I'm watching the lag to see how much time we have in between. So this is great for me tonight, uh, being solo with you. Let me turn the boob tube on. Got everything going. Uh, so, tonight's product. We have a new product at Sublimation 101. Sorry, guys. Pretty easy to make. They are sequence patches. They're sequin patches that you can basically put onto any color fabric, garment, tote bag, apron. It has an adhere. Adam out in Long Island. What's up, partner? Hey, Melinda. How are you, darling? Thank you for joining us this evening, guys. Again, we didn't start yet. We're having some fun. Tonight's product, again, is our new sublimation patches. I have a ruler up so you can get a good idea of the sizes of them, if that helps you while you're looking. Um, so, wait until you see. Hey, Leanne. What's up, darling? So, we're going to get these going. I flipped them over a little to show you. I'm going to figure out how to set everything nice for you guys tonight. So, you're going to have to bear with me a little because, again, I am solo. So, that's going to give us a great view. I'm just trying to figure it out. Yes, I am, Claire. Yes, I am. Claire. Let me get the camera. There it is. There is my label tonight. That was a great question, Claire. This product can go on any material. Yes, they're available on the site already. Yes. And guys, remember, I'm solo tonight, so I'm going to ask you when we do this, can we hold out on questions? I'm going to try to answer everybody at the same time. Kathy, great to see you today. I'm feeling a lot better, as you see. Maybe it was uh, that little spark that you guys brought into the office this afternoon for me, Kathy, and I thank you. So, excuse me, again, I'm solo tonight, so please bear with the camera movement, okay, guys? Thank you so much. Uh, again, to just ask, are they available on the site? Here is the product link for what we're going to be working with. Hi, Roxanne. Hi, Mike. Okay, guys. 
There's your product link for what we're going to be working on tonight. So tonight, we're going to be doing our flip sequence patches. They can go on any color material because we are sublimating onto the sequence, which the patch is laying onto the material. They can go on dark colors, light colors, cottons, 50-50s, tote bags, aprons, baby bibs, pillow covers, store-bought normal pillow covers, cotton, cheap. You're putting the sequence patch on top. You're giving it that more of a, a different effect. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you. I appreciate that. Lots of love. Hey, Gage, what's happening, pal? I missed you today at the office, Gage. Come on now, buddy. You better come in here. Oh, man, I'm always Butchie. Butchie, I said last night, I don't need an alias. I'm proud of who I am. Again, guys, tonight, we're doing our flip sequence patches. So tonight, you see the colors they're available in before we start. All the shapes, we have three shapes. We have the round, the heart, and the rectangle, which can also go that way if you want. So depending upon the image. They all come in red, gold, black, and blue. We'll have more colors coming. Jean, Jean, the dancing machine. What's happening, lovey? And this is where we're going to start. So tonight, guys, we're going to start with our round one. And we're going to measure our round one which is approximately 7.75 round. That's all we need to know. So let's go over to Creative Studio and get creative. Okay, are there any questions before we start? Hey, Terry, how we doing? Okay, guys, no questions before we start. So let's get some sequence. Yes, they can, Cross. Yes, they can. Okay, guys, so what I picked here was a clock. I picked a 7.8125. I know, Gene. I hope it, uh, I know it's going to stink if it snows for all of us, but if I get snow, I go live. How big is the bulb? I don't understand that one, Emily. But the reason I picked the clock was because that was the closest thing to an 8-inch round that I can find, that I can print on letter size paper. So I'm going to go over here, and we're simply going to grab a design. And let's go to sports, maybe. Now let's go something maybe with baseball. It's round. There we go. Maybe for a baseball team. There we go. That's done. That is ready to go. And we all know this is a factory. Well, I shouldn't say factory. This is a clip art that's provided with Creative Studio. So this will give you... Excuse me, guys. I'm just going to get adjusted better so I can give you a good view. This is going to give you the opportunity... To change the name. You see right here it says Wheeling. Let's say we are in the town of B-R-A-N-C-H-B-U-R-G. Branchburg. And you would hit OK. And the Wheeling will turn into Branchburg. But the problem here is now it's a little too big. So now you got to go in. And you're basically going to take that. You see the lettering. And I'm going to have to size it down. To get it all to fit in first. Then I could spin. So you can always spin. And bring it down. Now I have my full branch burg in. And now I just got to fix my lettering a little. So what I want to do here is spin it a little more. You see how I'm grabbing the top right there. And I'm spinning it like a little wheel. Like so. And you can fit branch burg right in there. And you could position it and align it in Creative Studio. And that would be done, ready to go. Very simple, very easy. If you didn't like it... Yes, Vincenzia, hi, how are you? Hi, Lisa. Wow, Anita, Ashley, how the heck are you? Okay, so 
I did this right here. If I wanted to undo it, I would just simply click undo. If I didn't like anything, I was moving around and it will go back right to the original. So this is going to be ready to print, guys. I'm going to print this out right here. Now, the key factor when doing this, yes, you could put it on almost anything. That is correct. Any fabric surface. Good evening, Teresa. You're welcome, Vincenzia. Open house this week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, guys. Now, I'm going to have this set for polyester fabric, text print art, auto tray, mirror image, high quality. I'm going to put high speed first and have to go back and follow my path. You know, as a beaver paper agent, we sell text print art. So I'm going to pick text print art, mirror image. My color is going to be a graphic and I'm going to hit print. Hey, Bill, long time no speak. How you been, pal? I hope to see you soon. Tonight, we're going to be using the SG-800. And let's shoot right over here, guys. Going to get you lined up nice for the heat press part of this. Excuse me. Thank you. There we go. Got your perfect front row view. So... A uh, question was asked, tonight I'm going to be using a cotton shirt. I have a regular cotton shirt. What I'm going to do next, guys, before I even apply it to... Before I even apply anything, you always want to move your sequence and get any static or anything out of there before you even heat press it. It's recommended to always brush your sequence, okay? Brush your sequence a couple of times, it'll make them looser, it'll make them easier. Now the second question you have to ask your client, do they want the sequence with the image to go up or down? Which way do they want the sequence to flow? Remember, this is that kind of optional product. Unlike a pillow it, that only goes one way, this you have an opportunity to have the sequence run whichever way you want. So I loosened up my sequence, as you saw, on the back of the adhesive. There's a, a pad cover that removes, like so. This is not an adhesive, so you don't have to worry. So what I'm simply going to do here is... Press down right here for about three to five seconds. What I like to do is I'm going to trim my image out. Now, then what makes a great stencil is the backing. That backing will make a great stencil to cut out so you know you have a nice, your size pattern lined up with your image. And this way you know you get your center point easier to find and align. So that's going to be acting like that for me. So that's a great little template tool to use when making this product in cutting it out. That would be done, guys. Simple. There's my image. Now, I'm going to brush, again, my sequence down, exposing the white part where we're going to put our transfer like so. Sometimes you might want to grab it by the top if the top ones give you a hard time and just push them down to break that seal right there, guys. That's all that is. It's a little static in there. So don't panic that the sequence are bad or something's wrong on any sequence product you should be doing this, not just ours. So keep that as a little learning curve for you. I got my sequence lined up into the designated area. I'm going to grab my image and I'm going to fold it right in half and pinch the top to mark my center point with my sublimation transfer. I'm going to lay them both right into the designated area and I'm simply going to sublimate at 400 degrees, 45 seconds. Sergeant Disler, how are you, sir? I need to talk to you when you get a minute. Please call me at the office. It's very important on a personal matter. Thank you, Sarge. I appreciate it. Or is it Captain Disler? But I need to ask you a few questions. Hi, Connie. So we're going to follow our simple sublimation instructions. We're going to repeat this for a couple of different times, guys. So if anybody just joined us, you didn't miss anything. Well, you missed a lot, but you didn't because we're going to do it again. 
So I'm going to press that down as I was normally sublimating at 400 degrees for 45 seconds. I'm going to open my press and I'm simply going to remove my transfer like so. There is our sublimation transfer and brushing our sequence stuck right to the shirt. See how nice the sequence flowed when we kept doing that? Now you want to reveal the image, brush down, like so. What do you think? That's it? Just Jason likes it? Can I get a little love, a little liking out here? Come on, we're going to do it again, or I'm going to go home. I'm only joking, guys. I'm not going home. You can't get rid of me that easy. So let's go to the next sequence, guys. Come on, that was so easy. That was so easy, it made your head spin. So let's do a heart now. For all the childish games going on out there, it's dedicated to Cookie Monster tonight. Okay. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Always appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it will, Vincenzia. Thank you, Latif. Out in Trinidad, Tobago. Do we have anybody else watching from outside of the United States tonight besides Latif? Teresa, I'm going to put the link up one more time, hon. They come in four colors, in three styles in four colors, hon. So let me hit that link up for you right now. There you go. There's the product link. Big Mac, I got to talk to you later. Now, we're going to go with the red heart, guys. I'm going to give a measurement of the red heart, which is approximately eight and a half inches across and my height at the max is eight, okay? So, let's flip you around. You're welcome. Oh, look, there you guys are. There's me watching you and you watching me. Guys, check this out. Select all, object delete. When I go to products, the first thing I'm gonna do before I go crazy is type in heart. Now, if I look at all the heart-shaped items that are available, Eight by eight I needed. So I can go with, give me a moment to check, right there. Shape mouse pad, 7.7, .7, got it. Right there, I'm gonna print that on legal size paper. That was a score and a half. Touchdown! John, what's happening? Touchdown! At Sublimation 101 this evening. Always something new. So we're going to grab ourselves some legal size paper, which is 8.5 by 14. Nice at the pub. I love it, guys. Thank you, Alpha. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, so let's go with our next design here. Now, if you just wanted to make a simple design from Creative Studio, do you remember this part? I showed you a lot. I type in the word heart into the search box in Creative Studio. Sorry my finger keeps hitting, guys. I type in the word heart, and look at all the heart items that come up that I can put on that shirt that are royalty-free. Okay, I mean, great for the holidays, as, as um, Vincenzia said, they're great for the holidays. So, you could do a proposal shirt, mom, Romeo and Juliet, something from mom. I'm going to grab this one right over here. Now, when you grab this one, and when you see it loading, don't get nervous. There you go. It's going to load everything in to fit right into the heart. So we're going to go object, and we're going to go select all, guys. And we're going to 
fill it in. Let's fill that puppy in as much as we can. Lag it out a little. See how I'm just dragging it and I'm bringing it down and I'm grabbing right at the top to fill it in. That's all filled in. Now I would change mom life, me personally, to mom love. And my text is changed, very simple. Drag it in in Creative Studio, object, align horizontally, there's my center, and I'm ready to print. What size is the plate that goes with the Christmas bulbs? Which Christmas bulbs are you referring to, Bulls? Let me know, please. And we're going to print it right here in Creative Studio. Remember our settings when we went. So let's follow our little path right now. Poly See, I'm already set, but I'm going to check anyway. High speed, polyester fabric, text print art, auto trace select, mirror image. My color is a graphic, and I'm going to hit print. Very simple and very easy. Bulls, which one are you referring to? Hi, Beth. How are you? Hi, Carolyn. Alpha, thank you. I'm on it like blue bonnet. Thank you so much, lovey. So we're going to have that print come out. Uh, Bulls, give me a minute and I have them outside. We'll go measure it, brother. Just remind me after we're done, we'll go measure it. I promise. I have them right outside, kid. Whoops, give me one second, guys. You have to use VPM with Photoshop, Beth. VPM is the driver for the printer. VPM has nothing to do with Photoshop, Beth. Photoshop is your creating software. VPM is your printer driver. And when you're using Photoshop or Corel Draw, you should always have it that the printer manages the color. Just give me one second, guys. I'm just laying a print down. I apologize. Okay, so while our print is coming out, I'm going to grab a shirt. I'm going to grab a medium. Throw a little color down. Let me make sure you got a good view. Perfect view for you guys. Blue Gildan cotton t-shirt. Simply going to lay it down. I'm going to pre-press one, two, three. Make it nice and smooth because transfers and moistures don't mix. Hello in Alabama. No problem. We have the Teflon covers. I could put the link up for that in a minute. So you know what I did before, guys? I simply trimmed around my excess like so. Okay, just like I did before, trimmed right around the excess. Now remember what I was telling you, <clears throat> when doing sequence, guys, remember please, always brush your sequence a few times to loosen them up and get them soft and comfy there so it's easier for you to press without seeing any red as you notice. Just don't do it once, do it a couple of times. I'm simply going to remove the backing off, and like I showed you before, the backing is not an adhesive. So I'm simply going to lay that down right into the designated area of the shirt that I want, brush up all my sequins, get them beautiful. I'm going to fold that to get the center point of my heart for my mom love. Going to line it right up onto the designated area for the transfer. 
and we are simply going to sublimate at 400 degrees for 45 seconds and let it cool. Thank you, Catherine. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Brother Dan, oh, you didn't see? Yo, D. Cookie. What do you think of that one, Dan? You're gonna peel that off and you're done. Thank you, Dan. Hi, Tony. Check it out. You like that? Thank you, Emmy. There's your answer, Beth. Right onto the cotton shirt. Beautiful and perfect, guys. You got to love it. It's a beautiful product. Get our rich, beautiful color on our on our sequence. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. Well, I bet bet Beth, I guess they answered it for you, hon. Alicia, you're gonna press it and sub it onto the fabric at the same time. Now you're talking my language, Emmy. Emmy, now you're talking my language, Emmy. Zip. Thank you. I guess Beth's question got answered. So, guys, with this further ado, uh, for my newbies, guess where we are? We are in the Sublimation 101 warehouse. This is where all your orders are packed, shipped, dipped, and sent and double checked. So to my newbies that have never seen it, here it is. I do have some of the lights out, I'm sorry. Come on over, check it out anytime, guys. This is your left-hand side walking down. Emmy, I'm going to get a tote bag for you, honey. That's where I'm going right now. I'm walking down the aisle, baby. Walking down the aisle with a big old smile. Don't hate me because you hate me. Emmy, I'm going to do a little double combo for you here, babe. Emmy, I got something for you. Welcome all the newbies that have never joined me for the first time and welcome to the Sublimation 101 warehouse. This is where all of our goods are, that was one side. Now this is all your drinkable side going up this way for those of you that have never seen us before. And I thank you for joining us. We have over 108 different drinkables in stock. Everything can be purchased. If Kathy, you put up the website at sublimation101.com. Of course, the sponsor of the page or the group, whichever. Connie, the warehouse is Disneyland. I got the best playground in the world, ha, ha, ha. So guys, I wanna thank you. We're packing up all your little treats for everybody that's been getting them with their orders, your free samples with your little thank you notes. I hope you've been getting them. Emmy, you just, you would, you know what, where is she? Emmy, you and Eric just need to take a vacation up here. Yes, I agree with you, my love. I know you too many decades, or over a decade. So Emmy said she would love it on a tote bag. Well, Emmy, Emmy, not only are we gonna do a tote bag, my love, we are gonna do a double-sided sequence with a different sequence patch tote bag, a twofer. We're going for a twofer tonight. Yo, we got a twofer for Emmy tonight. Emmy, I hope you like that. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to do a double whammy for you. I got my 11 by 17 paper loaded up in the tray. 
I'm going to go to my product. I'm going to go to a blank canvas. And I'm going to hit up 11 by 17. I'll tell you what I'll do right now for you. Give me one second. Guys, I'm putting up a Sublimation 101 sequence product link for all the sequence products we offer for you. They are good. That's all the sequence products we offer right there, guys. There's a link for you. You can catch it. Open it up in a separate tab on your uh, image, and then we could um, proceed. So we got our 11. But you know what? Let's go a little bigger tonight. I'm feeling big. Big is bad. I'm going 13 by 19. Because you know what they say about Emmy in Texas. Don't mess with Texas, right, Emmy? Emmy, because you were my inspiration for this one, this one's going to be sent with your order. Okay? So, I'm going to pull back here. Emmy, this is a little gift for you. Select all, object, delete. Let's go to product, and let's go to 13 by 19, grid with inches, and I'm just going to get a little something for you, Emmy. There you go, Emmy. That's going to be sequenced. Save image as... Don't mess with Texas. Emmy, that's for you, my love. All the years and dedication and friendship. Honey, you can hold me anytime you want. So, I got that right over here. I'm going to go to Images. And I'm going to go to Upload. And I'm going to call it DMWT for Don't Mess With Texas. Choose a file. I name the same thing here. In my downloads, excuse me. Oops, give me a second. I apologize. Don't mess with Texas. And you're simply going to upload it right into Creative Studio into your cloud. Kenny Wallace, what's happening? How you doing, my brother? Hi, Risa. Edgar, what's happening? So you're getting our product links. You're getting everything going. We're good. Don't mess with Texas. Whoops. Don't mess with Texas. DMWT. I hit OK. There's our image, Emmy. I'm going to bring it up. I'm simply just going to change it because of the paper size. I'm going to shoot over to 13 by 19 vertical with inches. There we go. Select all. I can make that about a 12.75 should do it. That's ready to go. I'm going to hit print. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit OK. Hi, Melinda. It's OK, hon. Save. Hit it. Oh, I love when a good group gets together. And I'm going to print that out right through my bypass tray. So while that's printing out, hi, Mara. How's Jimmy? Please say hello to him for me. Give him a hug. Going to bring you back over to the press. Give you that nice view you always like. My print is coming out. Remember what I told you before? Always brush your sequence.
That's ready to be transferred, guys. My image is coming out. I brushed my sequence nice and smooth. There's a big image coming out of there, Emmy. Now. Guys, if you saw what I did, I put the handle out of the machine. The handle is out of the machine, so now everything I'm working with is upside down. So you don't forget, maybe you want to fold and pinch the top of your paper to make your center point. Um, if you want, cut off the excess so you know you're not going to go too high to the top. Then just simply fold and pinch. There's my center point. I lay it right into place like so. I have everything lined up. My press is set for 400 degrees for 45 seconds, and that's ready to go on a sequence bag. So what I'm gonna do to the other side of the bag, so we don't miss focus, Emmy, is I am gonna put on the beige side a sublimation blue patch. Risa, you know what team that would look good with, the Giants. Ha, 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 ha. Laugh with me, Risa. Laugh with me. We got one win. So I'm going to press that down at 400 degrees for about 45 seconds, guys. Very simple, very easy. Beth, did you have any other questions about the sequence? Print, press, and peel. My sequence bag is done. Look how nice my sequence flows. Ah, you like that, didn't you? You like that, huh? We ain't done yet, guys. Now, I have to do my other side with my sequence patch. So what I like to do to recommend is simply brush all of your excess sequence just in case there's any ink or anything on the press. And you know what makes it cool about the sequence, guys? Look at the bag. You can see the silhouette through. It's really cool. Okay, so I'm going to turn my bag over like so. And I'm going to take my patch and we're going to go right over to the computer. Like so. And Emmy, I'm going to put the same size on because I have to get ready for the open house. I am an authorized dealer for Beaver Paper, which is Text Print R. I've been selling their products since they pretty much started. It's a 11 and a half by 8. Do you guys realize that everything we did with the sequence patches, you can do in an SG-400 by the size of the paper we used tonight? Except for that big logo I used on Emmy's tote bag, which I meant big for Texas. Everything else was done with standard 8.5 by 11 paper, guys. So, I'm going to put my 8.5 by 14 paper in tonight for the bigger patch. And all I'm simply going to do... is take this right here and go to product. And when I go over to product, I'm simply going to click 8.5 by 14. Right here. Grid with inches. Select all. Shrink that down. Now, if we recall the size we measured... Because we're gonna go, we're gonna go vertical with this one, not horizontal. To make it different, was eleven and a half by eight. So my height is eleven and a half, which again I can do in my SG four hundred using legal size paper. My width was eight. Object, align horizontally, align vertically in the center of my paper, 
ready to go. So simple and fast. Thank you, Catherine. Oh, uh, Miss Emmy, please, we go back way too long. So, guys, any questions while we're going along? I hope you saw the caught the shirt of the night tonight. My boy. That's my boy, Cookie. So, as you see, I'm going to, listen, you know how hard it sounds when I'm doing it? That's normal, guys. That's why you want to loosen up the texture inside of your sequence all the time. You should be brushing it two, three times before you make an item. Just so you know, you heard me. Two, three times you should be brushing it forward and backwards to break up any static, anything that might cause a, uh, an imperfection due to not being flipped right. It's a very recommended process in doing the sequence, which I learned from being an agent for Best Sub China. They taught me a lot of good techniques with a lot of the new products. That just comes from product recommendation. So I flipped it all over already, guys, and I'm going to go over to our heat press one more time for you by the village gate. So we're going to shoot right over here. Hell. And there is our bag that we made for Emmy. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to cut this down to make it easier to position. Pretty much right to the edge, leaving about a tenth of an inch. And just so you know where your sides are, you might want to make a cheat snip like I just did. See, that would be called a cheat snip. You know where you're going. So you're lining it up right and you're not overhanging it, causing it to come out not right <laughs> in a nice way. So we're going to trim that down like so. Make my little cheat snip. Hope you understood about the cheat snip. It makes it easier to line up, as you see. Now I know where my edges are. Very simple. I'm going to grab my sequence patch. My white side is showing. I'm going to put it down like that, right into the designated area. Sometimes you might see some extra string or fray coming off a patch. Just simply pull it right off or snip it with a scissor, guys. It will not harm you. It's not a defective product. It's just the way the backing is sewn. It actually has nothing to do with the sequence. It's all from the adhesive backing. But you do want to make sure that it's all away because you don't want to get a piece right there like that because then it's going to leave a mark right on your sublimation print. So I got our Don't Mess With Texas image. I'm going to line it up with my little cheat marks right here. Make sure everything is perfect. Done. Press down as if I was pressing normal sublimation at 400 degrees for 45 seconds. That's correct, Catherine. Catherine, can you pop up a link for our printers and for our papers if you don't mind? I'd appreciate it. And anybody interested in printers, we do have a, of course, a special pricing for the people that like and love our page. Thank you. This one's going to come out so good, Emmy. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I'm going to open it up like so, going to remove it, turn it around, our bag is done, now check out our sequence bag, the sequence, it's very hot, is going that way, it's not going up and down, it's going left to right. Thank you, Jason. At least somebody took notice out of the 67. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Show some love here. That did come out. Emmy, this came out awesome, honey. I can't wait to send it to you. The Emmy zip bag. Bling sequence sheet on one side. Oh, it disappeared. Not. This is why we folded it over. Undamaged, unharmed, second side. Hello. 
Bling, bling, ching, ching. Can you say it after me? Bling, bling, ching, ching with the sequence. You like that, huh? Oh, Risa, don't be hating. Well, guys, I'm going to wrap it up pretty much for the night. I want to thank you so much for joining us. I am going to try to go as live as much as I can for the holiday for you. Okay, just keep that in mind. I get something new, I show you something new. I got to still show you the candle holders and the bank piggy banks, I promised you. And we have our open house starting tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this tonight, guys. I thank you so much. I love you back. Thank you. Thank you for the love. Bling with the ching ching. You know it. You know it. And remember, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Okay. Check it out, guys. I'm often imitated. I'm never duplicated. I don't need an alias. I'm proud of who I am. I love you guys. I love what I do. I have a passion for it. You can come on down to this facility anytime. If you've never been here, I suggest you get your butt over here and come check out the industry's only training facility. That's correct. We have the largest training facility in the sublimation industry. Everything tonight can be at sublimation101.com. Often imitated, never duplicated, always talked about. They love to scream and shout. Don't hate me because you hate me. I love you guys. Again, I apologize for anything going on in social media. It's beyond my control, but I love you and I'll always be live. Remember, don't change who you are. Be what you are. It's better to fail at what you love than fail at all. Uh, you're so welcome. You don't have to thank me. I love you guys. I love what I do. Can't you see? Thank you very much. Thank you, John. Thank you. The Christmas. Hold on. Let me go get that for you, pal. Got it. Bulls, is this the one you're talking about? Bulls, this one? Hey, Michelle. Hey, Harris. Two inches. It's a two-inch disc. Thank you, Vicenza. Did everybody catch tonight the sequence? Nobody missed anything? I want to make sure. Two inches, ball. Two. Two. Dos. Dos. I use it as an earring, bro. I'd be like, hey, hey, big spender. Ha, ha, ha. Love the shirt, baby. Love it or leave it. That's right. We have the open house. Starts tomorrow. Boom. 10 to 4, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Did I tell you that we're starting to ship Saturday, starting next Saturday? Oops. Yes, I did. Guys, I want to thank you so much. Thank you for everything. You missed it all. That's correct, Risa. Weather doesn't stop me, Beth. Thank you, though. Thank you. Weather never stopped me. Every blizzard I was open. UPS and FedEx are open. I'm open. Thank you, Bulls. No joke is right, baby. No joke is right, baby. Any other questions? You like that, Mike Morgan? I know you like that, baby. Thank you, Beth. You too. What floss? They wash fine, Lisa. I promise you, just like everything, all inspected. Ah, uh, you know it, baby. I'm my sh John, you fly, I buy, bro. That's never a problem in this place. You've been here, you know I love to feed you. Ah, uh, Mike Morgan! Hey! Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I love what I do. Often imitated, never duplicated. Stop the bomb, hug your mom. Have a great night and keep on sublimating.